Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Alchemy of Twins with me Kiki. This is a mind reading and I'm going to spy on Divine Masculine. That's what I do best. And I've laid out the cards here. I prayed the rosary over them. I prayed the glorious mysteries today. And this set of cards here is how he is thinking about the connection, feeling about the connection, how he sees the connection, what he wants, wishes, and desires for the connection, and what he will do for this relationship. This set of cards is what is he thinking about divine feminine? How does he feel about her? How does he view and perceive her? What does he want, wish, and desire with her? And what will he do next? And this set of cards here at the top, this is him. This is how he sees himself in relation to you. Like, what does he think about himself now that you've come this far? And how does he feel about himself? And how does he see himself in relation to this connection? What does he want for his own growth and evolution in regards to you, Divine Feminine? And what is he doing to attain that? And I'm going to ring the bell before we begin this reading. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and that will connect your energy to collective resonance to assure you of an accurate message. I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator we communicate now. Breathe in us, Holy Spirit, that all our thoughts may be holy. Act in us, Holy Spirit, that our work may be holy. Fill our hearts, Holy Spirit, that we may love only that which is holy. I'm going to roll these dice to see which sets of cards they fall on. Okay, so we're going to do these sets of cards first. So here we have Mars, and actually we're in the season of Aries, which is ruled by Mars. Mars is the planet of war, <laughs> and we also have the number two, so that's about partnerships. So he thinks this relationship is, there's like some competitiveness, you know, it's like contention among equals, and so... Let's see what these cards reveal about that. You see, he thinks the connection is, it supports, it supports him and you and your spiritual growth. Your soul is rooting for you. So he thinks that you sharpen one another. It's like in the book of Proverbs, you know, a friends sharpen one another. So he sees the relationship, the connection, or currently he's thinking that this connection sharpens me. It helps me and she to improve, to grow, to evolve. So he's thinking that this is a soul connection. It's a soul connection and that there's good competition, there's contention, and he likes that because it makes him feel that he's growing, he's evolving, he's improving. He also thinks you have more options than you realize. So he's thinking that today, this week, he realizes there's so many more options than he thought there were prior to today. Maybe last week he didn't see all the options. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them, and you can. So this is a message from the universe. And the, what the universe is saying is that Divine Masculine, he used to like get angry about things with you in the past, just prior actually to this reading. And now he's thinking that the things that trigger me or the things that frustrate me about her, the things that she does that make me angry are so insignificant compared to the many, many, many reasons that I adore and love and respect her 
that now the pros are outweighing the cons. And so he thinks now he has more options in regards to the relationship. So this, this could be like freeing up his mind, you know, because where he could be angry and that can really start the wheels turning in someone's mind because when you get angry, it goes around and around and around in your mind. Now he has this space in his mind where he really appreciates you and this connection. He sees how valuable it is because it's helping his soul to evolve. And so the planet Mars, that's about the war, the anger. But now he sees it instead of like anger, frustration, he really sees it as, oh, she's sharpening me and I sharpen her. And this is part of our connection. And this is actually good. So now he thinks that this is, it's, it's a good aspect. So that's a new option for him rather than seeing it as a con, you know, to his ultimate decision to unite with you or marry you or take the relationship to the next level. Okay. And here Libra fell on how he's seeing the connection. So he does see the connection as a partnership. So whether that is girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, um, business partners, friendship, he definitely sees that the two of you are together in some regards. Let's see how he sees it. How does he see this partnership? He also sees it as being balanced because Libra likes balance. And Libra is also a card of justice. So he sees it as it's you both come without encumbrances. You'll do it when you're ready. <laughs> he sees the connection as you both organically progress together to the next level when you are both simultaneously ready. There, He doesn't see the connection as anything that is being forced. He doesn't feel pressured. He sees it as we just naturally organically evolve to the next level when we are both ready. Love in spite of it all. He also, he also sees the connection as we love each other in spite of all of our indifference or differences or our history, our difficulties. Before this odyssey ever began, there was you, your best friends, and wide-eyed curiosity among you about who would be the first to leap, the first to forget, the first to kiss, the first to tell, the first to fall, the first to get back up, and the first to remember that it all began with a dare to love in spite of it all. <laughs> that goes back to this like competition, this contention. He sees the relationship as like you dare each other. Like who is going to be the first in the relationship to kiss, to tell, to fall, and to get back up and stay in it and to keep both of you in it? Yes. This is amazing. Is that you, Murgatroyd? Love the universe. P.S. I remember the glint in your eyes, all three of them. There's stars in his eyes, and there's stars in your eyes, and he definitely sees this relationship as it's definitely cosmic, out of this world. It's something special. It's something that has really triggered him to awaken and grow and I can just tell by these first two sets of cards that this is going to be an amazing reading. You can access this reading through my princess level on my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining as a member. And as the members grow, I'll go live. Also, you can watch this on my Vimeo channel. Follow me over there. And we will get in depth with what's going on between you and your twin flame. So let's find out how he's feeling about the connection. How does Divine Masculine feel?